Welcome to the Magic Circle podcast, my first episode today with Mr. Martin Moyo, here to discuss a bit of NBA. My G, introduce yourself. Obviously, my name is Martin Moyo. Shit. NBA <laughs> enthusiast. Who do you support? New Orleans Pelicans, of course. You know what I'm saying? My boy, favorite player in the NBA, Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball. Okay. I thought you support the Clippers. Nah. <laughs> nah, I swear you said you support the Clippers. Nah, bro, that's actually not me. If I'm not me. I've never been a Kawhi fan, then. I don't know, bro. It's just boring. I swear. What? So. He doesn't have enough characters for me. Is he not in your top five? No, nah, man. He's just not there. So down. Let's hear your top five then. It doesn't have presence. What, all time? Uh, yeah, go on. Let's say all time. Obviously, my goat, Michael Jordan, obviously. Two, three. Obviously, so Jordan. Number one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Followed by LeBron. Okay. And then followed by Kobe. Kobe. And then Allen Iverson. The answer. And then Magic. Magic Johnson. But yeah. here's what I'm saying, though. AI don't have no rings. Can you be in top five with no rings? Yeah, man. Shit, Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't have any gram- uh, Oscars in I swear he's got an Oscar. Has he, has he got a Grammy? A zero, bro. Nah, he's zero. He's nothing. <laughs> nah, but what did he get for The Revenant? Bro, this guy never got nothing. I swear to God. like an Emmy or something, but it doesn't have like the Oscars in it. Man said a young Emmy. But you see AI. AI AI is one of my guys as well, yeah. But my guy's well, not really one of Jordan, isn't it? Don't forget that. Yeah, but she said he did. And, jo- and, 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 you see all these men now and gear that do outfits and that. That's all. That came, bro. That's in there. Man, come with a braid. My guy yeah. would be sitting on the bench here with his mom doing his hair, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see Kawhi. Kawhi copied AI with the, with the braids and the plaits. I know. Yeah, man. For me, Kawhi bro, does not have presence, man. But like, yeah, the defense, you know if, though. No, nah, no. Nah, if I was walking down the street, yeah, and I see Kawhi, I'd be like, oh, that's Kawhi. Then I keep walking. That's how much of a boring person he is, isn't it? But if I see Bron, I'd be like, yo, that's Bron. Let me try to get a picture of him. Bro, yeah, so man. you're telling me if you see Kawhi Leonard, two-time NBA champion, <laughs> walking down the street, you just keep walking? So I'd, I'd, obviously, I'd be like, oh, that's Kawhi, but you just keep walking, man. But I'd, Bro, he's, he's yeah, but to be fair, he's a he's, boring person, man. You say he's boring, but he's the one that created what it do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Unintentionally, <laughs> yeah, trust. <laughs> he didn't even mean for it to be funny. He probably he probably did it as a serious thing. Literally, but before obviously he's a good before, player. Though. I'm not taking that in a way from him being a player, but outside of basketball. It's not really much there. No. But obviously, before Mrs. Rona came and interrupted the whole thing, who do you reckon was going to get MVP? Yeah. Bro, it's very tight between Yanis and um, LeBron. But I'll, I'll probably give it to Bron now. Like, yeah. The last five games, the last five games just before it got cut off, are the ones that gave it advantage more to Bron. But before that was Yanis. The thing is, Giannis don't have much of a jump shot as well. That's that's another peak thing about his game. Like, he can't really yeah, shoot. <laughs> like, he's bro, bare predictable. Bro, I watched that. I watched that New Orleans game, yeah, where Zion dunked it bare <laughs> hard in front of LeBron, yeah? Yeah. Next position, LeBron pulled it from half court and made it, bro. Oh, Bram, you can't, <laughs> oh, can't take LeBron for a sucker, bro. That's the moment I gave him MVP of the season, man. Because he was like, nah, you're not going to come show me up. Fam, he's still busy getting MVPs. How old is he now? 35, 36? Yeah, man. She's crazy. He... But do you reckon he's going to get a ring, though? Do you reckon Lakers are going to go all the way? No, definitely, man. Lakers is the strong team right now. 
you know what it is? If they don't do it this season, that's it. They're not doing it. They'll never do I've be, I've been saying this. If they don't, if they were not going to do it this season, they're never going to do it. Nothing. This is the best chance they had. Facts. And I think if it does come back, I think yeah, they'll probably get that to be honest. You reckon they will get it? Yeah, they will get it. I don't know though, because to be fair, from the East, I remember everyone saying, yeah, um, Milwaukee, we're going to go through from the East. But I was saying Boston. Because Boston, um, Boston's record was good. But what do, what do you think? Boston is good, but the team is not full yet. And it's, like, it's not complete yet. And the team, because obviously, Tatum's been going off, Bro. doing his thing. Young Kemba Kim. Walker. <laughs> He's sweet with there. it as well. Right? So it's like, Celtics are good, but I feel like they're missing that second unit, the people that come off the bench. Because as soon as that yeah. first unit you know, sits down, the, the squad depth is not really there, there fam. Yeah. But the, do but, Milwaukee have squad depth like that? No man, I'm scared, bro. Even when Yanis is not on the court, they can still manage to hold it. And they got three point shooters for days, man. I can't even lie. Chris Middleton's not a joke, fam. Yeah, that's true. He's good. But the East is a bit, is, I don't know, the East is a bit weak this year, not going to lie. It's too easy, man. To way it's too been easy. Like but I'm hearing LaMelo Ball might be going to the Knicks. Is it? Is he what? Is he going to thingy? Apply for the draft? Yeah. He, I saw LaMelo he said to. he's better than Lonzo, isn't it? He did. Do you reckon he's better than Lonzo, though? You know what it is? He has potential, potential to be. Now, but at the same time, London this season, like, this, like 2020, he's been yeah. going off. I haven't he's really prayed what he's been doing. What's he beyond? Yeah, he's been shooting 40% of three. Higher than Luca Doncic, um, Trey Young. Yeah, man. So this has been shooting 40% from, from three. Um, Pelicans have a mad team, but... Have they really bro, did, they've not done much bits bro, this season? No, nah, it's because basically cool. So first half of the season, yeah. everyone was injured. The last half, they have been um healthy in it. More healthy. Yeah. And on the second half of the season, they're the third most scoring team in the NBA. So literally if the whole squad is healthy from the start, I reckon they'd have been probably third or fourth in the West right now. Raw, what just behind um, Lakers and Clippers, yeah, and Denver, Quite. probably beat Denver to be honest because they beat them this season, yeah. Bro, that squad, that, that squad, squad goes in, it's packed because, yeah, look at this starting here. Yeah, you got obviously a point guard, Lonzo Ball, mm-hmm. well, Lonzo Ball, Zion, Ingram, JJ Reddick, Drew Holiday. JJ with the threes, that guy's a sniper, bro. <laughs> bro, like, you need to watch some of these games, bro. Lonzo's turning to a sniper too, bro. It's mad. Is Lonzo actually a sniper? Has he fixed his shooting form, though? He has. He's literally all the way to the right now, because like, before, yeah, he used to, like, flip. Yeah, he used to... Used to... Now, like... <laughs> <laughs> that stupid nah, nah, form, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fixed, man. He's, he's, he's had, like, a couple games this season where, like, he's hit seven threes in a game. Swear down. Yeah, man, he's done a couple games now. And my brother Brandon Ingram, man, like B Tech KD. Obviously, you know, Mr. All Star, he made All Star this year. Yeah. Wait, Brandon Ingram Obviously. made All Star? Yeah, man. He made it to the All Star this year, bro. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, man. He, now he, fam, if you think about it, yeah. Bro, you see? The West, yeah. the West, well, the Pelicans coming out of the West is. They're they're a good, nice young team, in it. But next year, right? Or I give Pelicans year in a year or two, they're probably gonna be the team to beat in the West. All they need here is a strong, power forward, like a center. In it. They just need a center. 
They already got right. Zion though. Yeah, but they need someone to play defense in it because Zion usually just like he wants yeah. to just play offense all the time. They need someone tall that can play defense. Who would you suggest? Right now they got, um, right now they got Jackson Hayes, but he's a rookie in it. He's, yeah, he's good. He gets all the blocks, all the dunks, and all that. But he has one problem, which is um, he fouls a lot, a lot in it, like too much. And yeah, they might already know what they're doing here. They just come to him and flop, and he just goes for the bait in it every time. Yeah, he's a rookie. He's still, he's still got much to learn. Literally, so if he fixes that, he'll be calm. But then I need someone like. Let me see. Like it's McGee or something. You, what, you reckon just a proper bit like Rudy Gobert? No, if they were really yeah, next year they they got the title bro. You re- fam, Zion needs to stay healthy though, he's too heavy. <laughs> nah bro, he's built like that, he's built like that. Fam. You know the <laughs> you know the one that I just won from Beth? Yeah, just, trust. Just in heavy, yeah man, he you could. Yeah, but bro, imagine going for a dunk and when you're landing on your legs, you go however many kgs bringing down on his knees, fam. That must be stress. <laughs> must be him, but he's probably been doing that from young, and it since his knees are like, used to it. Yeah, but if he if he can stay healthy, yeah, he's gonna be manic, fam. He's unstoppable. Manic, cause fam, he's only what like um, averaging like twenty five a game. Swear, oh yeah, he was when he came back, in it. Yeah, literally. So it's like, my guy, yeah, they've put him second rookie of the year, and he's only played like, so when the NBA got cut off, he had played what, like maybe 12, no more than 15 games this season. And he was already averaging 25 points. <laughs> yeah. But what did you think about the show up with um, the Lakers when Zion first met LeBron? Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, you could tell Bron is a bit shook. Yeah, <laughs> not like shook as in a physical thing, but on some oh, this might be the guy that might take my spot in it. Yeah, like this is the, yeah. there's a whole you new era Bron, coming through. You could tell Bron was playing, you know, how they say Bron got that playoff mode. Yeah, you could tell he was playing in that in it instead of just like on a regular game. Because the thing is, I was I remember talking to one of my boys about this and saying, like, if Zion wanted to, he could be posterizing Braun multiple times in the game. Like, it's, get, it's getting bro, to that Zion point. Zion's got so much power, bro. Bare yeah. power. Yeah. yeah, pretty much built the same, only that LeBron's got more height in it. Yeah, he's, it's, like his team is more it. spread out. Zion is compact like a Zion running back. Like, <laughs> like the Hulk, innit? Yeah, he's a, but that's what I mean. If he keeps doing like these explosive dunks with his weight, like I don't know if his like body's gonna be able to take it, but I guess people like LeBron are heavy as well and their bodies get used to yeah, it. Yeah, literally, man. I think yeah. he's just one of them country boys, isn't it? Like, just being big and just strong, yeah. isn't it? And best. It's, it's weird, fam. Yeah, nah. yeah, I, that's going to be man. interesting, though. I miss the NBA, man. I actually miss it there. A lot, but it's so cute. You know what it is as well? Yeah. Obviously, support Pelicans, in it? And they were in what, ninth, tenth? And they were only like three games behind Grizzlies, which had, which had um, the eighth spot right now. Then. And we were playing them twice in the following week. You can you the pipe them? 100%. 100%. Who do Grizzlies even have? Mike Conley? Jamorant. Jamorant is cold. Oh, my days. He's, He's cold. <laughs> Jamorant is cold. cold. Yeah. Nah, man. They're not ready for playoffs, though. I wanted to see New Orleans. Bro, when New Orleans played Lakers, at least, even though my struggle to beat the Lakers in the first round of playoffs, it would have been a more entertaining series than Grizzlies versus Lakers, if you know what I mean. That's the thing, like... Have you watched the Pelicans play this season? I've watched, like, a few games, not bad. Bro, you need to watch some highlights here. Right now, NBA um, TV is free, isn't it? And you can watch uh, uh, all the games that happened this season and like, last season as well. All the full games? Yeah. 
Raw. Wait, so you can sign up. What's it? NBA TV? Yeah. Bro, the people need to know this, fam. NBA TV, yeah, sign man. up to that. It's free right now because of the whole... Corona. Corona thing. So yeah. yeah, you can watch games for like last season and this season, all four games. And bro, if you watch the Pelicans, yeah, these guys are able to take the ball from one side to the other side in like three seconds. That's how quick they are. They're young, bro. And, they, they're young and, and you quick. Got, bro, and you've got Lonzo as well. They can pass like accurate passes here yeah, from the other side of the court. That's all we've been doing with Zion. So is it Zion catches dunk, dunk. It's just mad. See, this is what was annoying, yeah. When it what was it last September, I was like, Yeah, I'm gassed, I'm ready to see Zion. What yeah. happens? He's injured, I'm like, rah. So I'm thinking, what it's it's a minor, he'll be back by like November, December. He's still not back. I was like, rah. When yeah, is this guy coming back? Time. Because I they obviously wanted I support- to make sure that mm. go on. No, I think obviously they wanted to make sure that he does not just he doesn't come back and then he gets hurt the next day. So like but to make sure that he's okay, then he still has more time to even be stronger before he comes back. Yeah, man. I, now they did good with that though because he's he's still a rookie and he's young. You want to nurture him, not just like push him to come back. For real, man, and. All the Lakers here that left, all the young Lakers that were traded to New Orleans as well, they've all been like playing well, man. Josh Hart is out here, another sniper out there. Yeah, and Josh Hart is a killer. He, he will run after the ball every time, hustle ball, and he's good as well. Even Lonzo, Lonzo D's up as well. Yeah, man, his defense has been sick as well, even the blocks and that. But what are you, what nah, are you saying about, got... you saying about James Harden though? James has been doing his thing, though. Yeah. I was expecting more, though, from him and Rafa Westbrook. That's what I'm saying, the like, fam. The, the yeah, two bros the back again. the same team, yeah, it should have been a bit scarier than what it is. I mean, where were Houston in the league when this all, when this whole corona thing started? Let's see, I'll check right now. Because I swear this they were... Your fourth or fifth. They were doing their thing. Because Houston, Houston wasn't doing too bad. And my guy James Harden's been defending as well. <laughs> After getting all that stick. Oh, so it was what? Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, Jazz, Thunder. Raw, okay. CP3 is doing his thing with the Thunder. For real. Yeah, where's the Rockets in this? The Rockets are sixth, just behind Thunder. Oh, yeah, sixth, yeah. That's mad. What? Grizzlies were eighth. Bro, <laughs> Pelicans are tenth. <laughs> Yo. That's what I'm saying. Dog, you're behind Portland. Oh, it's mad. It's like what? The thing bro. is now, Portland, Portland, they played their game minute there, and so we had not played ours, so we're a game behind Portland. So at least we would have caught up on that night. Well, see the council. That, do you know what? Oh, well, listen. With the game, yeah. Obviously, you know, it's UK time and that. I have to wait till 3 30. Yeah. This is the night when all the games get, got cancelled, right? Yeah. So um, the council, what game was meant to be that night? Uh, when they found out that Rudy had uh, <laughs> coronavirus that night, because yeah. they cancelled that game, right? Yeah. But they were like, oh, the last game of the night is still going to happen, which was Pelicans versus... I can't remember who they were playing, but... Everyone is ready. The other team here yeah, goes out to their court now. The Pelicans are still in the locker room. Because one of the referees had refereed a game with Rudy Gobert like three nights before. So the Pelicans are like, nah, we're not trying to play. But that game got cancelled. Then Ruby just had to go molest the mics, fam, and then give Donovan Mitchell the uh, same... Thing is, the question is, how do we know that Donovan Donovan Mitchell did not give it to Rudy then? So I just didn't know. That's true because who who announced that they had it first, Donovan Mitchell? No, nah, Rudy Rudy got better, so they just assumed he gave it to everyone. And then my man started touching up all the mics in the conference. 
then then he had to yeah, issue. Yeah, like, oh, what if you have it? Like, nah, I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, fam. You, you, you know how dumb you look afterwards, thinking, yeah, yeah, that was a bit of a funny joke. And then a few days later, he's like, yeah. yeah and then like, they'll be like, yeah, you have it. But it seems like, especially with this coronavirus, yeah, the way it's seeming with athletes yeah. is that they're busting case with this, with this thing. Like they don't seem to have yeah, been. Yeah, because obviously, obviously they're healthy. Like, like they're very healthy because they play in like every night or every other night, so they need to be conditioned for that. So compared to regular people, for us, we don't really out here take all the vitamins, make sure we're good. We just have yes, regular that. health in it, but them lot have to be like in top shape. That's why they're easy to beat it for them. That's mad though, because I've been seeing on the news like a couple people who had no pre existing health conditions dying from the disease, but obviously. Yeah, no, I had the thing is uh, smoking as well, just all of that too. So, what do you reckon then? So, you reckon if you catch this and you have no pre existing health conditions, how are you dying from it? And. You have to have a healthy lifestyle too. You reckon? No, I'm saying, yeah, because obviously someone could just be like unhealthy but still not look it in it and not think they're unhealthy. So like I heard today on the news, this 13-year-old, a 13-year-old died from it today, I think. So what would you, what would you, like, how would you explain that? Well, I wouldn't know, to be honest, man. I, I'm not trying to, Make assumptions and be warned a little bit. Yeah, yeah, trust. Never know. Probably just just caught a sleep in it. Starting not even just off on that day. So do you reckon? To be fair, I can't even say when this is over. When when a lot of progress has been made, do you reckon they're gonna continue the NBA season? They need to, man. They need I to. Hope they do, bro. Because actually, you know what? Right now, I would not be mad if they just said Lakers, Bucks, seven game series for championship. Forget everyone else. It would be fair to me, I think. You reckon? But yeah, but we still need that final winner at least. We need something in it. This cannot just be the end of it. The West is too tight because I want to see. Oh, the- I want to see. I want to see the top two in the East and top two in the West. And then maybe a finals from that yeah, final. yeah, instead, yeah, instead yeah. of longing it out. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. But in a seven game series, you're telling me that the Lakers will have the Clippers. Easy. Easy. Easy, bro. Why? Big boy statements. What? Four one? Mm-hmm. Like, what do you reckon uh, the the aggregate score will be? What do you mean? Who's like who? How many games? But how many games would they win in it? Oh, probably. Ooh. But I don't want to say straight, yeah, for like Lakers. But it might be, you know. What a whitewash! Whitewash. Four four I, zero. No, no, maybe no, nah, maybe. Maybe I say Clippers might just sneak in one game minute just. One lucky game, bro. You're forgetting, yeah. The Clippers starting team man said Patrick Beverly, man said Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. Well, hey, hey, please tell me you're third thingy. Lonzo Ball bully Patrick Beverly this season. Oh, yeah, right, nah. cool. <laughs> you remember, yeah, <laughs> remember Lonzo Ball's rookie season, yeah, yeah. Pa- Patrick Beverly, bro, just pushing Lonzo, made him drop, bullying Lonzo in the court, man. Yeah. This year, yeah, they played from Pelican beat Clippers this year without Ryan. Yeah, that, that was embarrassing, I can't lie. Bro, Lonzo, yeah, came up to my guy, literally just went over Patrick Beverly. My guy just said, You're too small. I walked off. I'm like, nah. Fam, P. P. Bev, he's always, getting, he's always getting in these mad beefs. Did you see what he did to LeBron? He's, funny. he's like, oh, it's, not, it's not a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Garden LeBron, that's not a challenge. That's not a challenge. <laughs> that's not a challenge. He's a waste man, bro. He's a waste man, but you need characters like that, though, in your team. You do. You might be a Draymond, like a D-Tech Draymond. 
bruv, I miss, I miss. I miss the Warriors and I don't miss the Warriors at the same time. True, man. Yeah, man. Nah. Shit, I think after this little break, I'm ready to give Steph the greatest three-pointer of all time. Ooh, that's a good discussion over oh. Ray Allen. Steph hit the pin here from the free-four line of the opposite side. Are you, are yeah, you that's, mad? That's I just crazy. like, listen. It's like his ting bro is like guided bro, like from wherever he shoots, he just goes in. It's crazy. But here's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'd say Steph is probably the best shooter of all time, yeah. But if yeah. we're talking solely threes, boy, Ray Allen. I'm not gonna lie, because I don't really I didn't really watch Ray Allen like that, so I wouldn't really know if you know what I mean. Bro, I can't lie. Ray Allen, you know, did you at least know about um, when Spurs played Miami in the in the conference finals? I think it was, and then LeBron missed a shot, and I think Chris Bosh got the rebound, and I think what was, it? yeah, then he passed it out to Ray Allen and he hit that last second three. I remember that sniper, but Steph. Yeah. It's there for the handles as well. True. Who would you say is the best NBA duo of all time? Duo. Uh, let's say recent years. Recent years, isn't it? Yeah, let's say recent. Splash Brothers. Steph and Clay. It's going on. It has to be. Splash I Brothers. Know, bro. Wade and Bronya yeah, was just madness. Oh, oh, yeah. Bro, how Yo. can I... Yo. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. He's throwing up lobs without even looking and he's really dunking yeah, and he's yeah. celebrating. Low key, even Kyrie and um, LeBron, Cleveland. That was it. What a bit of worry. Bro, without. Here's my opinion, but I'm interested to know your opinion, yeah. Do you reckon Cleveland would have still won that championship without Kyrie? No. Nah. Definitely not, bro. Kyrie was putting in work night in, night out. Shifts. Absolutely. His handles shift. are crazy. Probably got like one of the best handles in the NBA. But then my man, he decided to become complacent, yeah, thinking, I can do this thing by myself. What Bron yeah, was doing was easy. Like, I don't think he likes basketball like that anymore, to be honest. You reckon? Or just for now, he's just uninterested and he just doesn't want to play. I think it's just, not, it's just losing too much and knowing that there's no one to help him out. And so he's probably just waiting for KD to get healthy and then he'll be back. Yeah, yeah, because Brooklyn are actually quite good, I can't lie. Yeah, no. I need the Knicks to get good, though, man. Just want to see him play good. It's been a while. Brother, RJ Barrett, man. I, f- I feel for him because he's actually not too bad. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> But he stays catching them L's with the Knicks. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully they get Lamelo Ball on it and see what happens. Who the Knicks? Do you reckon that will make a day? He's still a young boy, though. Oh, Lamelo? Yeah. What do you mean, bro? Because he's been what? Nah, because obviously he played um in the Australian National Basketball League, didn't he, last year? He was playing with old men, like grown men. Yeah, and he got things. He got, um, what is it, Rookie of the Year in it last year. You are, you, so, you, so you reckon he's ready for the NBA? Yeah, no, he's definitely ready. Compared to the other, to the other, he's the only one that's actually played against grown men, you know, you know what I mean, in a full season. Um, it's, it's been so long, I don't even know who the Knicks have anymore. I know RJ, they got RJ. Let me put it up on the map, thing up on the their roster is a myth to me because I wasn't really into NBA that much because I was herming NFL this season. True. Bro, this man got Kevin Locke. Uh, they got Julius Randle. Oh, they got Randle, ex Pelican. Yeah. You got Dennis Smith Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. is cold. I used to play for. Uh, was it the Magic? I think so, yeah. They got Taj Gibson. Hey, Taj Gibble, ex Chicago. 
Bro, their team is kind of whack, though. From what you said, it sounds like they're yeah, a bit whack. Like, kind of, kind of, kind of dead. Honestly, thinking, uh, Michael Fultz played good as well, man. Cause... Fam. In his first season, yeah. How can you be... <laughs> how can you be number one? First in the draft. And he was a scrub. Man can't even shoot. <laughs> Nah, bro, that's what expectations do to you. He's fixed up, though. Like, I can't lie. Like, I was laughing at him, but he's actually all right now. He's doing better. He's doing better, man. Because at some point, he couldn't even hit a free throw, is not <laughs> Yeah, fam. You know, I've, <laughs> I've always said, yeah, you cannot be a professional basketball player and not be able to hit a free throw. <laughs> that is true. That it's a true. free throw. Like, it's a free shot. <laughs> An uncontested shot. I, I think it's just the pressure on it. Like. But it's peak, though, because, like, who is it? Like, Andre Drummond, yeah? I remember watching the NBA playoffs, and they kept on fouling him bare in the fourth quarter because they knew you couldn't shoot free throws, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Sometimes just, look how you have to play, man. So basically, you're just a liability to your own team. But yeah, right. man. Even 76ers. Nah, next season. True. Next season, I'm, ex- uh, I'm excited to see what um, Kat and um, Dilo do still. Yeah, that's true. Because that could be a good duo still like, for the future going forward. Because Kat is sick. Kat is very oh, good. Lick has a wish list for this trading thing, man. Fam, they just shift anyone. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> well, anyone can get it. As long as you're not Bron, you're not safe. But do you reckon Bron has a like an executive role in who comes and who leaves the club? Not executive, but like you say, he does count for something, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, so ultimately, they can still make a decision, but. Brown has to put in his two cents before they make a decision, man. But do you know what it is? Like, do you think that's fair, though? For Brown? Yeah, man, because obviously, that's your superstar, it? And if your team and your superstar is not happy, your team is not going nowhere. Yeah. Saying? That's true. So if you own the team, it's a smart thing to do, you know? Because I feel like, I reckon Brown looks at the roster, yeah? He was like, Josh Hart? Nah, G, shift him. <laughs> Ingram? Shift him. Bro, do you know what's deep? Lonzo, Ingram, and Josh Hart are playing so much better here than Kuzma, which is peak. Because the Lakers are like, nah, we have to keep Kuzma in it, but it's mad. Bro, Kuzma, what do you think about Kuzma? Let me ask you, before I, before I put my, my, uh, cool. my opinion, what do you think about Kuzma? Ah, uh, cool. Kuma is a good player, yeah. Yeah. But Lakers is not a place for young players, man. Yeah, can you just need to be a ball or veteran? It's not healthy for young players because I feel like because he's so used to having superstars, they don't have that player development. Cause look at um, look at all these Pelicans. They came in first season there. Yeah, Brandon Ingram goes Ulster. Lonzo Ball's shot is completely different in one off season. Yeah. Josh Hart is already playing good. And all that happened just from moving from LA to there. Because that man is coaching that, focusing on that stuff. But who, oh, whose interview did I watch the other day? It is. Oh, who, who is it? Oh, I can't remember. But one of the guys that played for the Lakers actually played for Golden State. He's like, yeah, man. If, when you start playing for teams like that, they have superstars. They don't practice. Like, huh? You get there, everyone just so they don't practice. You get there, yeah, everyone just messing about, shooting free from half court, but it's not practice. Do you reckon that's what Golden yeah, State were like, doing last crazy. season, or no, yeah, season before that? Because actually, they know what they have to do, and it's just like they don't really have to tell them, or they don't have to practice because they're good enough. Oh, well, so yeah, man. So I feel like that's like this is probably the same thing that happens in Lakers. It's like, cool, we'll just run our drills, but we're not doing no teaching you how to do this, that, that. 
because expect you to win yourself that. That's mad though. So, but like, I don't think Lakers can be that complacent because yeah, they're good, yeah. But I think quite a few teams in the West will take them to Game Seven, such as the Clippers. I can the, the Pelicans must just even done that, bro. Take them to Game Seven. <laughs> Taking them to game seven. I don't know. You know bro. They would have yeah, pulled out the biggest upset in that NBA. Bro, all right, cool. So, if you're going to go back on the NBA team, you yeah, watch the Rockets versus Pelicans. I think it was March 20. Wait, what, what are we in right now? February 22nd. I think yeah. that's when they played that. If you go back to that, man, yeah, Pelicans versus Rockets. And you watch how the team plays, or even the second game that they played with the Lakers this season, bro, they pushed the Lakers. You saw the Lakers are actually trying. That's why at the start I was like, a series of Pelicans versus Lakers would be more entertaining than Lakers versus Grizzlies. But now it's one of them ones that's like, you, you know, you got Zion, bro. If you got Zion, Zion, you can do bits. Zion, and you got Lonzo too. Zion and Lonzo, them two, yeah, they got like that connection of passing. Lonzo knows how to throw it. Zion knows how to catch it. That's it. And those I'm two, like a quarterback and receiver. Bro, they were calling uh, Lonzo ball, Lonzo breeze, isn't it? Like, obviously, true breeze. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you seen the long passes we've been doing to Zion this season? Nah, not really. What have they been mad? Bro, I'm talking about full court lobs, bro. Full court lobs. As in lobs, as in alley oops. Yes. Rough. From all the way, like three quarters, from like the three quarter point, from three four lines, long as you should be throwing it perfect because like just catching it in. Bro, I'm so I'm so gassed to see them next season, man. I I like the young up and coming teams, innit? Yeah, man, I'm telling you, that's going to be that team there. Like, give it a little bit. Probably not even that much time, but next season, I reckon they're going to be solid. They'll make playoffs next season, I reckon. Defo, defo. Oh, easily, easily. They would, they would have made playoffs easily this year if they started from there. Because this lot literally missed the whole first half. Mm, I don't know if they would have made playoffs this year because... Defo, easily, bro. Easily. What, been, over Portland? If anything... They've definitely been like six, yeah. Right now, Portland's never in the playoffs points right now. They're ninth. Yeah, they're not. They're ninth. Literally. They would have maybe been like, okay, they would not have been, I can't say they'd have been like fifth, maybe. Fourth or fifth. Because mm, I be... You know what it is? These guys, yeah, cool. So, first half of the season, everyone's been injured, whatnot, whatnot. Yeah. Second half of the season, bro. These men have been beating almost every team. That's how crazy they've been. Because of Zion. That's the Zion effect. Nah, do you know what it is? It's because they had like a six game winning streak right before Zion came back as well. So I yes. think for them, they, clicked, they started clicking. So they were in, yeah, literally. So they just, they were already in a flow. And then Zion, Zion comes like he's in come. And just went yeah. Up. He came back into the right environment, fam. I want to see. I want to see Nola do well, yeah, because I just, fam, from the West. Obviously, I like Clippers. The Lakers are alright, but I just, I like, I like young teams in it. I feel like yeah. even Ingram. Like I like Ingram. Like I say, he's B Tech KD, but he's actually a good player. Yeah, you see him this season. What this off season? If he just puts in a bit more weight, he's sick. Yeah, he's going to be a big problem. He's got that three and um, his jump shot as well. He's got that fadeaway as well. His fadeaway. It's yeah. hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You know, like, if he get to, like, clutch points right there, you know, if he gives England the ball, he gets that in three. But what's their second string saying, though? It is sick, because they've got, like, younger as well, so... I think JJ has been coming in second. So JJ and Josh Hart are part of the second, our second unit that comes in. Uh, they also got uh, Sexton Hayes, which is another guy that's crazy with the three. Um, he's crazy with the dunks because he's just tall. Isn't it? They've got who's uh, this? Josh Gray, Darius Miller. 
Yeah, Darius Miller hasn't played this season, I don't think. Um, Swear down. Yeah. That Alexander Walker, Nikhil Alexander Walker, he's meant to be quite hard. Yeah, he's sick, but they've put him, he's basically, they've been moving him about between the G League team and, and the uh, NBA team. And the actual NBA team. I'm excited for this team, man. Yeah, Dirk Favors is very sick. So, Dirk Favors, Lonzo Ball, Drew Holiday, Ingram, and Zion are stars. And then, um, second unit, usually they play JJ Reddick, it's one more, uh, Nicola Melli, Frank Jackson, he's been playing a bit left now, though. Then, Jackson Hayes, and Josh Hart. That Zillian uh, Chisholm, he's been like G League as well, they've been moving him about. But nah. But you see that team, yeah. Then, <laughs> if we take it to the Clippers, we've got young Patrick Bev, Paul George, Jermichael Green, Reggie Jackson, Kawhi Leonard, Marcus Morris Sr., Joe Kim no when Joe Kim no went to <laughs> went to the Clippers, I was like, what is he doing, fam? Is he not retired yet? <laughs> they got Lou right. Will, six man like Lou Will. <laughs> six man like Lou Will. But yeah, um, the West the West is good, man. I I mi- I miss people so much, but I'm Marcus Morris and that yeah. They're all right, they're doing their thing. Like they've got a pretty decent squad. And even if you look at Houston, yeah. Tyson Chandler, Damari Carroll, Jeff Green, even James Harden, yeah. Big Russ, Austin Rivers. Miami as well. Miami is looking good too. Miami have that have that white boy that's quite good. Tyler Hero. And yeah, um, they do, yeah, yeah. And J- Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, Bama Adebayo, Andre Godolo now, Derek Jones Jr. Bro, Derek Jones Jr. Oh, can dunk. Duncan Robinson, bro, with a three keys. Nasty. Whoa. Was he cold the Pelicans. They played the Pelicans here. Yeah. This guy was cold with a three from. I was like, nah. Don't swear down. Like, nah, 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 don't pass it to him. Don't pass it to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you went, you went, double team, double team, double team. <laughs> bro. Oh, it that's cold. Cold with it. But yeah, man, it's time to wrap this one up. It's because it's the first episode, yeah. I'm gonna have yeah, to. I'm just gonna ask you a series of three questions, just a few NBA predictions before we wrap up. So I'll say, do you think this is my first question? Do you think LeBron James is gonna win another ring before he retires? Uh, yes, it'll be this season. If he doesn't do it this season, that's it. Then he's finished. Yeah. I guess my next question is, if Kawhi Leonard wins another ring, should he be included in the conversation about being the GOAT? Kawhi? Yeah, if he wins another ring. Nah, man. He's not there yet. He's just not there. You know what it is? He has such a lazy game. His game is just lazy. Uh, do you know what it is? If you put on Kawhi highlights here, yeah, no one's going to jump up and say, oh, that's mad. He doesn't give yeah. you that energy. Do you know what I'm saying? He just but goes, he shoots it, and no smile, my guy just walks off. Yeah, because he's a killer, bro. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a contract killer. He just, he, it's not too much. He just does what he needs to. Nah, man. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it's like? It's like a killer clown, isn't it? And then... <laughs> <laughs> well, I fucking trust in old black. You know them ones. Just yeah, like, trust. Well, it's like, well, what movie are you gonna want to see from? I wanna see the guy dressed in old black just out here killing Monday. But the clown just like, all right, bro, I get it. You do your job, in there. You're sick at your job, but it's like, yeah, there's no seasoning. You know, there's no seasoning. There's no coriander on that one there. <laughs> exactly, but it's a very good place. And um, my next question is. Concerning Zion Williamson, do you reckon he's going to be like the next LeBron, like the next prodigy coming out of college slash high school? I know LeBron didn't go to college, but you know, the next prodigy coming out of school. Definitely. I say 
Zion is going to be the face of the NBA soon. Really? Yeah, man. Because I think his first year, he's got obviously a very good player. But he's got the um, LeBron charitable person right now. So he's donated, so he's covering the people that work in the New Orleans basketball stadium, which they don't even own. They just rent it. Mm-hmm. He's covering all their wages for the next month. And he has a shoe deal as well, isn't it? When he's one, bro. You know, Jordan. Yeah. My dad made 100 M's before playing, before playing the ball. 100 M's without playing. Crazy. Yeah. That's how, yeah, man. He's literally got that. He's got that LeBron connections to the fans, and if I mean, he's like a very yeah. terrible person, likable as well, character, charismatic. A marketable a person as well. That, very marketable. Yeah, nah, I, I hear that. But yeah, man, love for having you. Definitely have you on another segment soon. This has been the Magic yeah, Circle man. podcast. Shout out everyone during this corona. Hold Stay tight, ahead, everyone, you. man. I love. Break through, sink.